So if you look at interest rates, a lot of people don't understand why the interest rates went up so much. It's all about supply and demand. The more money you have in the system, the lower the, the dollar value is. Naturally, if you have more money in the system, mm -hmm. we had CERB, we had all these COVID benefits, we had all this money flying around, mm -hmm. and money was next to free at a quarter percent interest, right. the overnight Bank of Canada rate, it was free to borrow money. Yeah. And so everybody borrowed it. The more money you have in the system, the higher the purchasing power, but with more demand, it means everything becomes more expensive. Mm -hmm. And so when you look at interest rates, you look at inflation, last year at the end of January, we were at approximately 11% of an increase in the cost of living between interest and inflation alone with five consecutive interest rates and the rates going all the way to 5%, the goal was to have people return money, make money more expensive so that it goes back right, right, right. to the banks. And with less money in circulation, it means that your dollar is worth more because you have less people that are spending those dollars. Mm. And so between interest and inflation now, we know the inflation numbers have come down. What the Bank of Canada has done has been extreme, but it has worked. Last month, we hit 2.9% in terms of inflation. But when you look at inflation numbers now, the inflation numbers specifically for housing, the amount of interest, the cost of housing has gone up. And if you look at the core inflation index, it's almost like you're feeding a diabetic sugar to cure them of diabetes. It doesn't make any sense, but it's had an impact. So inflation is down, interest rates are gonna fall in tandem. And once inflation and interest rates come back to a normal state, you're going to see a rush of people returning to the market. Right. And with every single rate announcement, every single policy announcement that we're seeing, we're seeing more and more people understand that what we've just gone through is finished. Mm -hmm. And if you've hit rock bottom, the benefit of hitting rock bottom is that it's only up from here. Mm -hmm. With only up from here means that if you're a homeowner, you probably want to hang on to your home if you can, because the alternative of selling would be renting and rents have gone up like crazy as well. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the market today, and you can afford to keep your home, give up the Tesla, give up the Rolex, give up whatever you can to keep your home because the future is going to be in having equity in your home. And if you've got the right partners, you've got the right people in your corner, you can leverage the equity, consolidate your bad debts and make your life manageable and affordable and you can build generational wealth when it comes to real estate.